welcome back to the channel folks we are going to be working on some interior modifications on this week's video first things first is our lovely little shelf here that has been working very well for our arb fridge but we do have a new one so it has to be modified to adapt to that one we had removed our rear seat a while ago but notice we had a lot of road noise with it so now we are going to put in some more sound deadening and insulation here to help cut down on that we have got to take this seat that i'm in it's got to go so we can make room and modify everything for our storage for our hiking packs and everything uh, we need to move our electrical to a more accessible area and that includes our shark fin that has to be modified so it can go to the front so right now first things first is to demo Okay, so we're mid-process. Everything here is has been pretty cut and dry. Uh, the rear pillars, the lower was all push pins. You could just literally give it a good yank straight out with several of them. And most of the upper is the same way. However, for our truck, behind this little, uh, come on, focus on the camera. Behind this little airbag thing is a Torx screw. So this was all push pins behind this panel with the exception of right there is behind that little airbag um, that's right behind that little airbag thing I'm actually flipping it so I put needle nose uh, needle nose on that and I pushed forward that then pops this little door open and then behind that door uh, is a little screw to get that panel out All of this uh, chase up the rear pillars has been to gain additional access underneath the uh, underneath the headliner and that is so we could get access to the shark fin antenna now actually I found all the access I needed to disconnect the cables and get to the bolt by taking the, uh, the third brake light out um, out of the back but I was hoping to get the cables too and I'm gonna do my best here with the phone um, if you can see up in here, uh, that connector right there is the shark fin antenna and then it comes, it splits out and it goes to these, uh, these, these four connectors, basically three, three bodies. And then it runs to this harness, um, which is this loom here and which comes all the way down. And then we are not sure once it gets down at the bottom of this pillar, it does a, it, there's this little turn here, but we think because of the taping that it may go to this module. Uh, and I'm basing that largely off the fact that there's an antenna looking cable um, out that other side. So uh, everything we've done is to get access here to this headliner. You do have to be very careful you can't get it out without taking either the rear window out and or the windshield is, is my understanding. So we did this so that we could get access. Now, having done all of this, the whole reason we are wanting to move that shark fin antenna is it was twofold. We were concerned about the clearance with our overhang on the Atlas cap. We were a little concerned that it would be close to it. After doing a better job of measuring, worst case, we have three quarter inches of clearance. I am quite comfortable with that because when we had the rooftop tent, I actually had the rooftop tent right at three quarters of an inch on the truck right about here. And I never had sufficient flex between the bed and the truck that that became an issue. So I actually think it's going to be closer to an inch or even an inch and a quarter. So um, what's in that is everything though. So it's my understanding, and, I, and don't hold me to this, but it's my understanding that the shark fin antenna has your radio, your satellite, and 
uh, and your navigation. And that's actually the thing we were the most worried about. Alana and I talk almost all the time when we're on the road. Even when we have music playing, we very rarely listen to it. So when it comes to navigation, we do all we can to um, we do all we can to use Google or some other uh, some other apps. So sorry for the voice of God here video that I'm just using with my phone. The bottom line is that we have decided splitting the harness apart and everything else just isn't worth it. So at least for the relocation of the shark fin antenna, I've given you as many tools as I can if you choose to embark on this. For us, we don't care if we lose satellite radio. No. We don't care if we lose the radio in all honesty. No. And we were a little bummed on the navigation, but I'll buy I'll buy a Garmin or I'll buy something else. Uh, honestly, like I say, we rely on our phones as much as yes. we can, including downloading maps. We'll go back to a paper atlas before I tear into this uh, anymore. Yeah. So we've torn a lot of stuff apart. This just seems like <laughs> this is much. starting to get a little too sketchy, especially yeah. especially with the airbag, the yes. curtain airbags up there. We've fiddle farted with a lot of this uh, with a lot of this around. So anyway, we're gonna put this all back together and get going back with the storage shelves and some of the other things that we want to do with the interior that we feel much more confident about. Okay, here we are at the stopping point for this evening, or what we're going to call it. We just sprayed out some of the 3M adhesive uh, to hold up the Thinsulate all along the back. Of course, that was after a heavy dosing of kill mat. And between the Thinsulate already in place and the kill mat, we are getting very low resonation out of this metal uh, that we had in the past. And that's really important. That's the bulk of why we're doing this. While we've added almost an R11 in the column between the, pro the uh, project insulation and then an extra layer of, uh, of Thinsulate that we've put in there and we're, and we're doing all this, we wanna cut down the sound. We noticed when we just pulled this 60 seat out, this, this portion that was over here, we did pick up quite a bit of road noise out of this corner. So we're hoping that this will add improvements even though we aren't gonna have the seat in it. As far as how we progress, we're kind of thinking about a, a board or something to go across here to create some deep storage for some of the things that you like to have on the road with you, but you don't necessarily need emergency or very quick access to, like, you know, small hand tools, you know, your electrical tape, duct tape, zip ties, all those things for emergencies, right? Uh, anyway, some of those tools I'm thinking could go down in here where we have them with us, but we don't need to get to it all the time. We're thinking about bag storage or hiking bags and, and uh, things like that across the back. Of course, the, the fridge is still kind of going to go here, our luggage underneath. So anyway, we've got some ideas. Finishing out the back here, uh, Alana and I are in a little bit of a dispute on whether we put the factory board back in here or whether we do some plywood or, or something else. Alana's likely going to win. My real issue is the, the factory piece kind of has some weird air gap shapes back here that kills a little bit of space, but it does finish it out pretty nicely, especially considering our our ultimate goal is not to do anything to the truck that couldn't be undone. Yes, you might need a significant amount of labor, but we could pull the insulation back out of here enough to hook the seat belts back up, put the straps back in. And honestly, within a day or a weekend's good labor, we could have everything we're doing to this truck back to dealership delivery or better. A lot of these things that we wouldn't take out, like the insulation, the kill mat, that would only be an improvement to a next owner uh, if we were ever to sell Wil Wilma. So, Anyway, that's it. Once this gets set up, we'll be able to come back out here in the morning and pick back up with the storage and whatever else we get into in here. We'll see you then. Well, after running down the shark fin rabbit hole, we have decided to cut the video for this week right there. Next week's we'll pick up with our storage and the compartment and where we've decided to store everything for the interior since now that the seats are out. As always, if you have any questions, just reach out to us through social media. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, get that notifications. So we'll see you next week.